Hi, my name is Shauna. I'm going to find the solution to this question, which is form a third degree polynomial function with real coefficients that has the real zeros, negative 2, 1, and 3. It needs to be written in this form, which is the general form of a polynomial function. The first thing I see about this question is that it needs to be in the third degree, and so I know that the leading term will equal x cubed. With that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and write out my factored form, and then I'll plug my zeros into the factors. So I'll just start by writing empty factors. The negative 2 becomes a positive 2. The positive 1 becomes a negative 1 and the same with the 3, it becomes a negative 3. The reason that we're changing the positive negative sign on those is because if you were to plug in a negative 2 into this factor, it would become 0. It would look like this. And that is where we get the term zeros. So from this factored form, I'm going to foil it and expand it. I'm going to start just by foiling two pieces. Foiling, of course, is first, outer, inner, last. So we'll start by multiplying x times x, which becomes x squared. x times negative 1 is negative 1x. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. I'm going to bring those down here just so I can keep them all together. Now I'm going to combine. These two terms are like terms, so I'll combine those to become x squared plus 1x. It's negative 1x plus 2x becomes a 1x minus 2. Now I'm going to foil this factor to this factor, so x times x squared is x third, excuse me, x to the third power. x times 1x is 1x squared. x times negative 2 is negative 2x. This negative 3 then gets foiled. And I'm just going to write them in order, and we'll go back and fix them up in a minute. So negative 3 times x squared becomes negative 3x squared. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3x. Negative 3 times negative 2 becomes a positive 6. We're going to combine again. Like terms. So first thing I'm looking at is going to be my highest term here. And my highest power is a third, so I don't have any other x to the third powers. I'm just going to bring that down. Then I'll look at my x squareds. So I have a positive 1x squared and a negative 3x squared. That'll become a negative 2x squared. So it's basically 1 minus 3, which is a negative 2. And then I have a negative 2x and a negative 3x. So negative 2 minus 3 is negative 5x and then my 6. So this is the polynomial function with the real with real coefficients and the real zeros of negative 2, 1, and 3 in the general form of a polynomial function. So I hope that was helpful. Thanks for taking the time to listen today. Have a nice day.